In SD My Life, there's one more way that you can search for careers. I just clicked on Zello and it took me back to the very beginning where it says, hey, your name. Remember, if you can't remember where to go, that's an easy way to just find your way back and, and go back into what you need to do. We are exploring our options and we're looking at careers. I'm going to go back down to my filters and I'm going to take off all of my filters. I have X'd out of my school subjects. I don't have any career clusters selected, no school subjects, but there's still one more way I can look for a career. Let's say that I've been looking and I still haven't really found what I wanted to find or maybe it's just not where I thought it would be. I can actually go up and do a search. Now you have to make sure that it is spelled correctly. But I can click on search and it will allow me to search for careers, schools, and majors. We have to be really careful not to select schools or majors, only careers. So I can go in and I can do a search for motorcycle mechanic. You can see that's one that I've actually looked up. So I can go in and type in motorcycle mechanic and it actually pops up. It's listed under careers. I do not want to click into one that's listed under majors. That's what, that would be what I would study at a school or in a training program. I'm just interested in the career. So I'm going to click motorcycle mechanic. Now, because this is something that I've looked up before, you can see that I have it saved. But maybe this is something you want to save. It does have the occupation title, how much money I can make in one year, potentially, how much school is required. It also lists a main idea of what they do. It also lists their core tasks and what it's like where they work, their workplace environment. When I scroll back up, I can also see what career cluster it's listed in. Oh, it's listed in transportation, distribution, and logistics. That didn't sound like a career cluster that was very interesting, so I never looked in there. But that's probably why I missed this career. But now I know that it's in here. So I can see that it's in there. I can also see that it's similar to an automotive service technician, which is an auto mechanic, someone who works on cars, heavy equipment technician, diesel technician, someone who works on vehicles, but diesels specifically, farm equipment technician, same thing, except they specifically work on farm and ranch equipment, and auto body repair. Remember, auto body repair is someone who works on the outside of the car, whereas an automotive service technician is someone who works on the engine to make it run. The auto body repair makes sure that the body or the outside of the car or vehicle looks nice and looks good. I can research any of those careers. I find it interesting that it's in the transportation and distribution career cluster because I would have never looked there. It doesn't look like something very interesting to me. So maybe I would like to explore this cluster. And it allows me to go right back in here. And what it did, if I open up my four more filters, it just shows that it filtered it out for me. It put a check mark in there for me. And so now I can go in and look at the 49 careers that are in the transportation career cluster and that there's all kinds of really good occupations that are in here, including a civil engineer, a chauffeur, people who drive other people around, a courier or a messenger. This would be like someone who works for FedEx or the UPS, like the UPS man. Um, or like a, a mail delivery person, or you might work for the U.S. Post Service. Okay, you work at the post office somehow. Okay, so there's lots of different careers that you can find. Sometimes they're listed under things that we don't necessarily recognize, like courier or messenger, but because we don't think of that, we think of it as a FedEx person, a delivery person, but they're the same. They're very similar, and you can count those as your careers if that's what you would like. Remember, doing a search up here by the magnifying glass is going to work just as well. 
I might want to search for a vet, a vet tech. I don't want to be a veterinarian. I just want to be a vet tech, which is kind of like a veterinary assistant. So I can look at that as well. There's all kinds of careers that I can just do a search for. Maybe I would like to do a search for surgeon. And I can see there are nine results and some of these are popping up. And I didn't even type the whole thing because I don't know how to spell it. But I know that it's S-U-R-G. And it started filtering them out for me. A surgeon, surgical technologist, which would kind of be like an assistant, a plastic surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, dentist, doctor, or neurologist. And I could look at any of those careers. Remember, skip the majors. Just pull up any one of the careers. Maybe surgeon isn't what I really wanted, but I'm going to click on doctor instead. And then I can look that information up as well, just like I did before, and I can choose to save it. Remember, your goal is to save a minimum of five, but no more than 10 careers into your profile. To see what all your careers are, click on Zello, and you'll go down to your saved options. When you clicked on your saved options, you can see all of the careers that you have listed inside of here. You can even, if you want to, but you're not required to, tell me how do you feel about the career. There's a fun little drop down box that tells you this is definitely something I'm going to love or I might like it a lot or eh, maybe, that's why I put it in here. Um, I don't think you're gonna put definitely not for me. If you don't like it, you're not gonna save it. So don't put it in there. And um, you may have one that says you, uh, you're you kind of on the fence about it, but you don't quite know. So you may have a not sure if it's a good fit or it's a possibility. But if you really are falling into these two categories, you're probably not saving the right careers. You're probably really only going to look at and save the love it or like it or possible ones. And that's what I want you to do. I don't have them listed on all of them, but I do have my feelings on some of them. And you are welcome to do that as well. When you are done, be sure to mark or click the mark as done in Google Classroom. Okay, have fun. Thank you.